everyone welcome back to talk that talk let's get right into it so we have to start off with chloe bailey today because she's under fire again for a very well-known topic that people have been talking about ever since she went solo or right before she went solo she's under fire again because people are talking about her being sexy trying to be sexy okay so people are on social media saying that Chloe is fire, you know, she's a very pretty young woman, but her PR team needs to fully control her socials. She Beyonce sexy and she's trying to be Ruby Rose sexy, okay? So people are adding in their opinions and they're just saying, it's like Shorty just realized she's hot and it went straight to her head. Now she thinks everything she does gotta be sexy, like nah, just act normal, Okay, and someone said the fact that this is coming from men should make more people pay attention. So what do you guys think about this topic with Chloe? I feel like this topic has been talked about so many times and it keeps coming up pretty much every time she puts out a video or a picture or a post, this topic comes up. So what do you guys think about that? Now let's talk about Haley Bailey because her boyfriend DDG is charged with gun possession and reckless driving from an arrest that took place in June this year. People seem to think that they're targeting Haley's image after the backlash of the Little Mermaid trailer coming out, okay? So someone commented under DDG's Twitter post and basically said, look at the headlines. You know damn well they don't care about no gun charge in LA County with all of the crime going on. This is an attack on Haley. They want to steal her positive image, okay? And DDG says that he basically may need to move because Kelly is doing the most, you know, in regards to their laws and everything like that. But what do you guys think about this claim that this person is commenting? Do you think that there's something there as far as trying to steal her positive image, especially with all of those poor negative comments that she got once the Disney trailer was out. And if you guys have been paying attention to her Twitter page, she's been kind of alluding to, you know, being positive and strong and thanking everybody for positivity. So I know, just like we had talked about before with her, I know she sees all of this stuff going on. And I was saying this before that she has to be very, very strong right now because Haley, like I said before, we come into the movie theater. We taking over the movie theater when this Little Mermaid movie drops in May next year. The, the sales of the movie is gonna be astronomical. It's gonna be great. I'm just putting that out there now because I already said I'm gonna go watch the movie twice. So she just gotta get through all of this little BS stuff. But what do you guys think about this guy saying that this is just them trying to steal her positive image, okay? Now let's talk about Cardi B. So it looks like Cardi B is making some moves to garnish assets from Tasha K to get that legal winnings money of over three million, all right? So I don't know what Tasha K got up her sleeve. I don't know what's going on. All right, but it looks like Cardi B is coming for that check, okay? Garnishing over three million old for Tasha K making false accusations about Cardi B. So what do you guys think of this whole situation? I know Tasha K is appealing, you know, but I think at some point she's gonna have to pay up. So yeah, we'll see how all of that plays out. Now let's move on to the City Girls. The City Girls speak on their stardom and hopes for their legacy. All right, so they actually did an article and they spoke about being from Miami and JT, you know, spoke about her performance at the Wireless Festival in the UK and she felt so blessed to have thousands of people screaming her name. And Young Miami speaks about how they're executive producing the show Rap-ish with Issa Rae. And Young Miami says that being a writer for the show is mind-blowing and she never thought they'd be doing big things like this so early in their career. She also has Carisha Please. The City Girls want to be known for never giving up being talented and staying true to themselves. So what do you guys think about that with the City Girls and how they're speaking on the legacy that they wanna leave and their accomplishments? And basically, I just love the fact that they continue to wanna highlight that they were literally two girls that came up from nothing. 
and look at them now. So, and they are, they are true to themselves. They are 100% true to themselves. And I am a fan of the city girls. I really am. However, I just want to see them win a little bit more on the music side. You know, because when they have dropped music recently, it doesn't, it, it's not hitting as much as it was before JT went to jail, okay? So I can't wait for them to kind of have like their comeback era where like they got a top 10 and it's just it's just like booming for them on the music side. So we have to see how that all plays out, especially because in the last show, we, we talked about how Carisha tweeted out that she retired from rapping and now we got JT making up with Nicki Minaj and she's doing um, verses on people's songs by herself. You know, and they, they talked about a lot of things together on Carisha Please show or whatever. So we'll have to see how that plays out between the two of them and how long they're going to be doing this rap thing. All right, so let's move on to Doja Cat. So Doja Cat claims that she's putting out a rock album called Rock Out Val Volume 1, The Abyss 5000. Okay, how crazy do I sound saying that? That's exactly how I felt when I listened to it. Let me play you the clip she put out. I'm so tired of playing around on Twitter. I'm being serious now, you guys. I, we got to cut the shit. No more hullabaloo. I am putting out an album. And this time I'm being serious. It's not going to be a cube shape. Obviously, I was joking about that. This time I'm very serious. I am putting out a rock album. It's going to have emo jams. The name of the album is called Rock Out Volume 1, The Abyss 5000. So um, keep on a lookout for that. Um, I will be dyeing my hair. Uh, well, whatever I have on my head would be a wig, but I will be dyeing it various colors and wearing lots of plaid. So Dosha Cat was very confusing within the past 24 hours because she also was tweeting that she was doing an R&B album. We we talked about it a while back that she said she was doing a rave album. You know, she's not going to go towards the house music. Doja Cat, I feel like you're trolling us. Like what are you like what is this? What kind of album are we getting here? If you don't know what you're doing yet, just don't speak at all. You know what I mean? Just figure it out. Go in the studio. Be creative, make whatever music comes to you that feels good to you, and hopefully your label rocks with it. You know, because for me, as a fan, this is very confusing to me, and it is giving, it's all over the place, it's giving, I don't have a strategic plan, I don't have this mapped out yet, and, and I don't want to go along that process with you as you're trying to map out the sound that you're going to have for your next album. I'd rather you do that behind closed doors and give me the finished product, Okay. That, that It just really frustrated me. But what do you guys think Doja Cat should do? What kind of albums do you think she should do? I think she should stick to what works. Stick to what works. Do some pop songs, sing on some, and rap on some. Do what works. Simple. Done. All right, let's move back to Cardi B. So Cardi B is hopping on Glorilla's song. They're going to do a remix to her Tomorrow song. So she's going to be on the remix with Glorilla. All right, and I also wanted to point out that Glorilla's FNF song is moving up on the charts. It moved up 22 spots and it's now number 42 on the Billboard Hot 100. So Glorilla is doing some things with this FNF song and now she's about to get a feature with Cardi B. So are you guys looking forward to that? Now, I also wanted to point out some other new music. So we have Sierra and Summer Walker coming out with a collab on Sierra's song called Better Things, which is coming out on September 30th. People got a little snippet of them behind the scenes. It looks like they're filming a music video. I'm always here for a Summer Walker song. And Sierra, I'm here for Sierra as well. You know, so I'm really curious to hear this song and see the music video and everything like that. Now let's talk about Lil Baby. So Lil Baby said his body shut down from tour exhaustion, all right? And it forced him to skip a Vancouver show. But according to TMZ, there is video footage of him partying out at a Vegas nightclub. And I think this was a night before that show that he missed, okay? So people are questioning, Lil Baby, were you really tired because you were out partying? 
what are we doing okay so unfortunately there's video there's video footage of him partying in the club and he was supposed to be at a show i think the next day so pretty much he's staying quiet <laughs> about the whole situation so it is what it is but the fans are the fans are upset okay the fans are upset and it looks like little baby don't want to talk about it so it is what it is okay so what do you guys think about that it looks like the fans uh, went ballistic over the weekend they were destroying property when they pulled out his performance okay so little baby saying you know i've been going so hard these past few months without any breaks and it finally caught up to him but i guess there was a pre-show party so you know i don't know he was seen hours later partying in vegas all right at a nightclub with travis scott and dj drama all right so people are wondering you know were you really exhausted or did you just not feel like doing that show so it just he just might have needed a night off you know what i mean now lastly i want to talk about future so it looks like future sold his publishing rights to all 612 of his songs from 2004 to 2020 and a deal that is worth 65 to 75 million dollars okay this doesn't include any music that he made after 2020 so yeah future just got to a little nice bag over there okay and that is all i have for today you guys so i will see you in the next video bye